Hey guys, it's Brienne from the Hoppy Doxy, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make this stocking hanger using Crystal Act products and vinyl. So the first thing I want to do is go through the supply list. It's a little bit long just to make sure you have everything that you need, and I will include links to any products that I'm able to link to in the description as well as a full list of everything that you need. So the first thing you need is some wood. Um, I am in Europe, so the dimensions aren't 100% the same, but I will include some recommended dimensions. My sign is three feet wide by eight inches tall, uh, and I will include the SVG for that dimension as well as something a little bit smaller. And then you're going to need some sandpaper or a sanding block or even an orbital sander to be able to sand down your wood to prep it. You're going to need a good quality paintbrush. I really like these one and a half inch gold tacklon brushes from Plaid, but really any good quality paintbrush will work. Gold tacklon does work really well with the Crystalac products. You're going to need paint. So I use Crystalac black gloss for the primary color and then I primed it with universal white. You're going to need some weeding tools. So I have just my Cricut hook weeder. I also like to use a sewing pin. Um, you're gonna want some burnishing tools. So I use this plastic putty scraper, but any normal burnishing tools for transferring the vinyl will work. And then I also like to keep an X-Acto knife handy and of course, a pair of scissors. You're going to want a ruler to do some measurements on the back. Uh, measuring tape would work just as well. You need a screwdriver or a hammer and sawtooth hooks to hang um, on the back of your picture. So I use screw and sawtooth hooks, and so I need a screwdriver, but if you get the ones with nails, then you'll need a small hammer hooks to hang the stockings from. These are 1.73 inch length screw hooks and I will give you guys links for the US equivalent for these as well. Then you're also going to need a dry erase marker. Um, this is helpful but not necessary. And then white Oracle 651, which is permanent vinyl. I don't know if you can see that, but Oracle 651. You're going to need enough to be able to make your decal. So I needed a three foot roll. Um, if you want to stencil it instead of using the vinyl, you can just reverse the weed and do a stencil using the universal white. But I'm not going to do that part in this specific tutorial. But of course, that is an option. Some transfer tape to get the vinyl onto your stencil. I just use contact paper um, in clear, but any sort of transfer tape will work. I do recommend using a low tack transfer tape just so that you're not pulling any sort of paint up, especially if you don't have time. I waited, a, I think, probably two days to let my paint really cure up nicely before I transferred, and I didn't have any issues whatsoever with the paint coming up. And then finally, if you want, um, gold or silver glitter vinyl for the star uh, that goes over the major. So if you want to do that in a complementary or different color, this, I'm just using glitter vinyl. Okay, so that is the supplies that you need, and then we will get started with the full tutorial. So the first thing you need is a piece of wood. This is just a piece of, uh, I think they call it sideboard, where it's multiple pieces of board pressed and glued together. I will put the dimensions of this one in the description, but I believe it is three feet long by um, eight inches tall. So 36 inches by eight inches and then it's about a half of an inch in width. So the first thing I did was just cut it to the size that I wanted it, and then I sanded it. Um, this board already had rounded edges, so I just, on the ends where I trimmed it down, I just sanded that really well, 
and then just lightly sanded the top uh, with a um, 220, I think, grit sanding block. Wiped it down and now we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is prep it um, and I'm going to use universal white. I keep it in a condiment container because I use it for my tumblers, but you can just use it out of the um, tub that it comes in. And then I'm just going to use a one and a half inch plaid brand Taclon, gold Taclon brush. These are my kind of go-to brushes for just about everything. Uh, but any sort of brush that's intended for painting wood will do. And then I am going to mix up my universal white. Now I'm just going to do this to help seal the wood. It helps to uh, prime it and get a nice coat so that I can then go through and paint it with my black gloss. So I'll just show you how I start it. I put the paint on the brush and then I just paint. This is going to be a very light coat to begin with because we're just priming the wood. And I'm gonna do it on the front as well as the sides. I'm not gonna worry about doing it on the back because that will be against the wall, but both the front and the sides will show. And I want it to have a nice polished look. We are back with our second coat. So again, I'm using my one and a half inch plaid Taclon um, brush, and now I'm switching to my black gloss. So I have my board that has had the universal white primer put down on it. I'm just doing one coat of the primer, and then I'm gonna move into the black gloss. So I'm just going to mix the black gloss by rolling it in my bottle and then the application is going to be mostly the same. I'm going to go ahead and put the coat on the edge first so that that has a chance to dry a bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and then I'm going to start with this side. So we're just going to be doing a little bit with the black gloss on the edge. Thanks so much for watching.
If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know and happy crafting!